welcome to Code Move. My name is Nick. I'm one of the founders. And this I'm is Allie, one of the other founders. We're husband and wife. And we're located in the south of Jakarta. We make ice cream and other treats such as cookies and brownies. Western desserts. We've been in Jakarta, we opened January 6th of 2018, so in operation for about like eight months-ish. Yeah, I grew up out here in Jakarta uh, since I was three years old. Born and raised in San Francisco, met this great guy, and decided to come over here to start our own business and bring good to their decision. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two years ago, yeah. last Chinese year. January 2017, but it took about a year to get up and running. We wanted to do our own thing and own our own business. We both love ice cream, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> and decided that, you know, well, his family's here, we we're gonna get married, wanted to spend time with them, and Jakarta's always hot, it's perfect for ice cream, so might as well, right? Yeah. Started Jakarta. And there's like so many gelato shops, yeah. but there's like not that many ice cream shops. We just thought ice cream would be like the perfect thing to do here. And it was hard to find a spot that we felt like was right for us. Um, like everybody's like, oh, open in a mall, like open in a mall, but mm. malls like are pretty expensive and spaces are quite big and we didn't know how this was gonna go, so we wanted something smaller. And then uh, everybody was like, start in the south, because the south has more expats, more people that are familiar with our like type of desserts. Um, and then we're willing to like try new things down here. So we looked and that's part of why it took so long for me to get started, is that we were looking for the right place. And also nobody wanted to take us, because like, we didn't have much of a portfolio. Mm. Like our Instagram was pretty like just there. We didn't even have an Instagram. We didn't have yeah. a real Instagram. Like it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds like where yeah. all the cool restaurants are, all the cool shops yeah. are. Yeah. It's just, they wanted to see us like be successful. They don't want to like risk it and have us like fail. Right. Find another tenant. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So we make the things that we like, which is pretty cool. Like that's the best part I think about like being is that if we like a flavor, if we love it, like we can put it on the menu, but if we don't like it, we can take it or tweak it however we want. Um, and it's important that we love what's on our menu, right? We don't want to sell something we don't love. Um, but yeah, so everything's mixed with like a milk flavored ice cream, and we actually picked up this idea and the process from like touring like in the States and just going around and eating as much ice cream as possible. So a lot of people recognize this machine from like Kip in New York um, and also like some San Francisco ice cream shops they use it uh, for like Froyo and things like that but we wanted to do it straight up ice cream and like just kind of make it make something different something that we don't really see here and uh, we blend it all with the milk ice cream so cereal go really well. So we use this machine we basically just put in the milk ice cream into this cone right here and we put in different mixes turn it on and it mixes everything up. Nice. Yeah. I think that's the other interesting part too is that people see the machine and they come here and they listen to the music in the store and like these kids, they know who these rappers are and like they like rap along and you're yeah. like, how do you know this? Yeah. Like, you know? And then you have some kids that are like, oh, this Tupac, is that ASAP Ferg? And you're like, no, that's not. Like, let me yeah. educate you real quick. Yeah. Two, but, two functions. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's the, again, that. I don't know, it's just that American culture, the hip hop culture, and like streetwear, all that kind of ties into what we're, what we're about here, and like it draws that kind of customer base. Yeah. And so it's cool to have conversations with like our customers about like the Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. Yeah. and Kill like, shot. is Tupac really alive in Malaysia? Yeah. Or like, yeah. like, we get the craziest Instagram yeah. messages. Yeah. Like, our customers are awesome. So they're like, do you know, like, this is what's going on right now? Or, like, That's so dope. Yeah, yeah. our throwback Thursday it. playlist, like, yeah. things like that. Customers love it because they're always like, it doesn't feel like we're in Jakarta anymore when we come here. So. Well, I think they really enjoy it because yeah. the ice cream is not too sweet. And a lot of Indonesians, they say they don't like when things are too sweet. Yep. And it also has a little bit of texture to it. It has that crunch from the cereal. Nice. And they kind of like that. Yeah. yeah, of course. And again, we're small. Like, we didn't know how this was going to go. So I think we went from like maybe 
20 to 30 ice cream servings a day to now we're pushing our full capacity at 150. Wow. Yeah, so when we had to learn how to scale pretty quick just because like Instagram has been so good to us, but um, it always looks like it's packed in here because we're so small, like two groups of, of people already makes it look full. Cool. Um, so we try to make the line move as fast as possible, but we only have one machine, only one man <laughs> so we're making the yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's the cool thing is that everything's made fresh, it's not like pre-packed. When you're getting the ice cream with cereal in it, it's still crunchy. Um, yes. Another reason why we don't deliver it, because mm -hmm. we want it to be the best customer experience possible as far as taste and quality goes. It takes a lot of discipline. Yeah. 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 And we'd rather serve like smaller batch, high quality, than like oh. just try to make a buck off yeah. of like yeah. making more and like producing lower quality products. Um, and I think that's why the customers keep coming back. Yeah. We weren't, we weren't sure. It's like, the Jakarta F&B scene can be so like, they love you one minute and then they hate you the next or they're like over and on to the next. So, yeah, I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah I love you. so we wanted to make sure that we were making the right moves, but um, I think just like from the weekends, the fact that we sell out in three hours, like we have to be right by our customers and try to like do something about it. So this is our answer and getting on go food for like the cookies and putting in the yeah. brownies and everything. I think so often we see other places that are like so hyped like just pull up too fast or franchise out and it's like you know after a while people don't like it anymore and yeah. that's like, yeah out. we never want yeah. we don't want to see that happen with coldness so we're just trying to think of like innovating our menu coming up with specials things like that hi i'm ali and i'm nick welcome to cold moon we're located in the south of jakarta this is a